Hello everyone, this is Triplet Bissy. Welcome back to more Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. Last time we cleansed the seas and got permission to enter Jabba Jabba. But, but before we do that, there's a couple things that I forgot to show beforehand though. First off, actually, actually no, first off, actually it's going to be closest if I go over here. I think. Okay, 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 yeah, I think I think there's something over here. I think it's over here. Oh, I already have it equipped. Need the tune of time, because I think there's a gosh seat spot around here. So I want to try to see if I can get that real quick, and... I think, is it? Okay, I might have the wrong spot. I know there's one around here. I know there's one in the past around here somewhere. And there's another one in the present that I can get to, but it's a little further out, though. No, this is what this is what I was thinking. I'm, I'm dumb. So let's plant plant a gosh seed here. I, I didn't actually didn't mean to play the tuna time there. <laughs> Oops. I did not mean to do that. And it turns out we can't even go up there anyway, so that worked out just great anyway. But now, I, now I want to go back up north. Because there's a harder reach one in the present, but we need to come up here in the past first in order to do so. Alright, now let's go this way. Oh, oh wait, no, I'm wrong, I'm wrong, so I can't get to that from here. Never, never mind, never mind. But in the meantime, I think I will go check on... I think I did... I, I don't think I ever did... No, I never did check on that one, so let's go back over there and check on that one, and then I'll meet you... Let's, I'll be, nah, I'm not gonna do that yet. I'll, let's just, yeah. By the way, P.S. No, this is not an elaborate way to try to delay me going into the next dungeon, despite the fact that I've already made it clear that I hate it. I legitimately forgot to do this. All right, let's go around this way here. I think it's fast. No, I'm an idiot. I swear, I'm. I swear, I'm, it may seem like I'm trying to. It's like, yeah, we'll just, just get the dungeon over with. Just go and get it over with, or something. And I've, God, I always, I always do that. Like I, I always mess that up. But okay. And actually, gonna need the rocks feather as well. But going up this way, going this way here. I planted the gosh seed a while back, and it should have sprouted by now. Okay, let's see what do we got. What's inside? A ring was inside. Joy. In case, in case you can't tell, I'm not joy. I'm not joyful with that. Actually, I do want the. Okay, now I want to go. Wow, I am fumbling my buttons here. This is what I hate about having only two buttons. But now let's actually go back, back, back into the present now. And then I'm gonna go ahead, and, and now we're gonna go into the dungeon for real, and. Again, I swear that this wasn't an elaborate scheme to delay the inevitable, but... But, in any case, now let's head up this way and... Yeah, back up this way here, and and now we find Jabba Jabba who's much bigger now in the present. And now... He went out over his mouth before, but now we go into... Level 7, Jabu Jabu's belly, and... I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna beat around a bush here, I hate this dungeon. This is probably my least favorite dungeon in the entire game. Okay, you're gonna wanna go this way first. Cause this this will be very help very helpful to get over here and you get the compass right off the bat. Yeah, trust me, you want the compass as early as you can get, because it is very helpful for finding those keys. And this this place is gonna get real interesting real fast and not in a good way. But let's go. Now we go over to the left here, and there's a key here. And yes, you can swim over the pits when there's when you're in the deep water. So that is a release there. But now let's bring the. But you notice how that these two statues had had the little diamonds by the. Well, we're gonna have to move down the diamond blocks over to the other two statues to make it complete. And then, so. Get this one over here, and drop and down drops a key. Yeah, but in any case, but now as you can as you hear, there's another key over here. But our switcher can't exactly reach that right from there. We can go around to the other side, but you'll see that there's two blocks here that that 
There's two switches that need to be held, held down. It's one of those puzzles, but we don't have anything that can really. We don't. We can't really do that one just yet. You'll see in a little bit though, because we can't reach that though. And while well, the Cane of Samara will help, but the Cane of Samara is useless underwater. So when you see those yellow spots, you can dive up there. You can dive. Press B button to go up to the surface, and that takes you to the next floor. So yeah, here's our true water dungeon of of this game. Yeah, you thought Mermaid's Cave was a big water dungeon? This one's even more so. And we already get the map as well. But there is a mechanic here that you'll that'll happen as well. And I kind of alluded to it when I said about not being able to use certain things underwater in the water. And we, well, it's just that we can't get to that here because we can't we can't, we can't use our items on the surface. Well. But yeah, let me put this with I wasn't exactly a fan of the Jabba Jabba's Belly Dungeon from from Ocarina of Time either. Even though it was it wasn't as bad. It wasn't it wasn't so bad though. I didn't. Let's just say that that one just wasn't one of the. That was probably my least favorite of the Child Link dungeons in Ocarina of Time. But go up this way here, and we're, we're going to be getting to the the mechanic that I hate uh, that I hate the most in this dungeon. And you'll see. And those of you who play this game already know where I'm coming from with this. But go up over this way here, up this way, and okay, one more screen there. Get out of here, Moldorm, or Mini Moldorm. Okay, I want to bring this up, so I'm going to talk to the out, activate the owl statue first. Not and not hit the wall. The internal flow floods with blue and recedes with red. So let's hit the red switch and. You heard water going out. Yeah, have y'all got it yet? Where this is going? Do you know where this is going now? Well, 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 guess what? You thought the water temple was bad in Ocarina at the time? They recycled it here in a 2D game. Yeah, this is why I hate this dungeon. It's basically a two-dimensional water dungeon. Uh, water temple. And I hated water temple from Ocarina at time as well. Yeah, I hate this place. Not even gonna hide it. I hate this place. Okay. Oh, and this, this little yellow, this little, this little island here with the yellow edges here. You're gonna want to remember this for this area for later. It's, it's another mechanic I'm gonna go into that also works with this dungeon as well. So go this way and then go down here. And and we can, we can't we couldn't push this out the way while. While it was well underwater, but now that we have that, we can do that. And even though the water's draining, we can use the cane tomorrow. We still cannot get that block over there because because if we try to go the other way, it would leave us trapped and have to use the hook, go back there. So we can't do that just yet. But had we kept going this way, this would have led us to over here where we have. Where we had to, had to switch there. It's a, it's one of those that has to have keep something on it. So, but yeah, I know what it seems like. I'm, I'm I know like know what I'm doing right now. But remember what? Keep in mind when I say this. This temple was probably the hardest temple for me as a kid in in the entire Oracle games. Y yes, even more confusing for me than the last than than the last temple, and even more confusing than anything that Oracle of Seasons threw at me. But. But yeah, let's just say I'm gonna try to see if I can get this one as quickly as I can, and I practice the bejesus out of this place so that way I know where I'm going, and so that way I'm I can get through it quickly and at least look like I know what I'm doing <laughs> with this dungeon. But now you want to go up this way here, got this little oh gosh, oh right. At least at least you get invincibility frames when you're hooked on to switching places. But yeah, boomerang is recommended for that area as well. But we go up this way now. Oh yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I've shown these, but 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 I might have. But but yeah, you can use the switch up to pull the masks off those helmet stars and take them out, and take them out much easily. But now we're over here and we gotta we gotta flood the first floor again. And you can't just hit the switches constantly to activate the force. You have to hit both blue switches if you want to flood the second floor as well, which we will need to. Yeah, like I said, I am totally thrilled with this place. Not. But yeah. 
But as you, but before I want to show this real quick, we got this little path down here, but we can't do anything about it yet because there's a we can't reach that with the switch hook, with a switch hook yet. So we're gonna have to come back for that one. But in any, but, oh yeah, there's another reason why I consider this a rehash of the water of the water dungeon of the water temple from Ocarina of Time as well. But I'll get to that a little bit later. Oh, okay, let's let's get the boomerang here. Not to worry about switch hook right now because that's gonna be. With what I need right now, I just need I need actual weapons. There. But but now that we flooded the first floor, now we can actually swim through here. You can't dive down here for the so but you can just keep diving back up as well. But there's not it doesn't really do anything. But then you have this room here with a, these little mini mold orms here, and simple as that. And I am standing on the treasure chest. <laughs> oh, if only were that easy to do that in the 3D games. Okay, but uh, that you get a small key. You want this key. Like, before doing anything else. Trust me on this. You want to get that key. It is it is very vital for much later. For, for actually, not much later. Just, because the other path that we could take this way here would, would take us down this way here. And you see the blue, you see the blue floor, this little blue floor pattern here. That floor pattern is basically, is basically where those islands with the yellow, what the yellow edges would go would be would be if the water level is lower. So yeah, those yellow islands float, and they change with the water flow as well. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff that happens when you when you change the water when you change the water levels. It's not just that it creates new paths, all sorts of things. Which yeah, like I said, just like the freaking just like the freaking water temple. And we all know how much we love that place. And right here, we got a mini boss. This is the angler fish. Yep, remember the remember the little pathetic mini boss that the little pathetic boss that was in Link's Awakening. Well, it's just pathetic here. You just shoot it with a you just shoot it with senses to knock it down, and then spam the sword. It's pathetically easy. It, it it also it does shoot bubbles at you when it's floating around, but you can when it bounces around, but you can just you can just shoot those with a sense seed as well. But this right here is why you wanted that key. Because right here, go this way here, and I sit get the thing, thank you. It's a little finicky with the water one. But in here, you get the long switch. Switch places with objects from a distance. Yeah! As if this place wasn't already a blatant enough water temple ripoff. It also had to give us an upgrade to this game's equivalent of the hook shot, just like the freaking water temple. Yeah, I hate this place. And, okay, I didn't I actually did not want to go down there. So I actually could have just gone down over there. And oh yeah, I, I forgot. Didn't mean to shoot that there, but yeah, the, the, the switch hook will doesn't protect you from the from the berries electric attacks while you're in the war. As well, it kind of like not like it's not like the hook shot in the other games, though. Let's, but yeah, I am not thrilled with this. All right, and this is why I wanted you to remember that other place and remember that because now we have another path open to us here. And now let's just go down this way and yeah, and like I know, make I know making this place look easy. Trust me, this place is anything but. Like I put, I ran through this place like three times in practice before I attempted to record this. I'm amazed something hasn't gone wrong because you know how it is with recording. You, something goes wrong, it's always gonna be. Whenever something goes wrong, it's always gonna be when you're recording. That's the Let's Player's curse. Oh, and actually, switch the, that over there because we have more water set stuff here. This is this part was another part that tripped me up as well because this room over here, which is required because it has a key. Okay, that actually worked. Like, th th this room stumped me as far as how to get to it because of the whole platform thing. But, now that we have the long hook, you remember how there was that puzzle back there that we could... How, th that we could basically... that we couldn't do with the switch hook at the time? Well, now that we have... Th now that we have the long hook, we can actually take care of that. And I think once I'm done with that, that would be a good place to end off, so... I'm gonna go start the trek back this way, and I'm gonna try to shorten the pain a bit and go for the Pegasus Seeds. And 
Let's try to get to this part a little quicker, though. Hopefully, I will not run into any like likes and lose my iron shield. Oh, I probably should bring that up. Like, if you, I mean, like the, the stores will now have iron shields as opposed to the wooden shield. If, if, if it like like each, if it like like each, I'll, I'll show that. I'll show that later, but. But let's uh, let's let's lower the water level again. Yeah, it could have been as simple as get everything on the first floor, then the second or third floor. Because there is a, there is backtracking too. Just yep, just like the freaking water temple. I yeah, like I said, not a fan of this place. I know I know with the way I'm following the path is just like I'm making this look really simple. Trust me. This came with a lot of practice. I would not know where to go if I had not practice. I'm probably fumbling around this place for maybe an hour before I finally beat this place. But now that we have the now that we have the long hook, I'm serious. That's what the game calls it. So, yay! Another naming inconsistency, just like the tuna time tune of ages. Set up that set up the can of Samari over there. Now we're gonna need to drop the block. Over here, stand here. Yep, you need that, that, that. That's why we couldn't do this one here because you need both of those there. And now we have a small key. So we've done. So I think. Let's see. How am I doing on time? Okay. Yeah, I think this is a good place to end off this video. So next time on the Legend of Zelda: Oracle of Ages, we're going to be continuing Jabu Jabu's belly and see if I can find a. Hopefully, I will not get lost that way. I can only spend a little, a little more time here. Would that be okay, please, game? All right, then. Till next time, see you then.